Okay, Renegade fans, we are back in the shop with the Prodigal Son. Now, you might be asking, why, what and why are we doing these things? So, as you know, it's not a sponsored ship. <laughs> um, anyways, so, that being said, the reason why we're in here, as you notice, the Prodigal Son is clean. We are going to be putting on a hitch trailer hitch because anyways what i was saying i'm all over the place right now but the reason being <laughs> is because when i was pulling the jeep and uh side by side out with this beast this is what happened so if you notice my bumper is a little bit tweaked the reason being is because i didn't have a tow hitch so, I had to hook to this right here. And look at the damage. Look at that. Just look at it. But, now I'm going to have a tow hitch bolted up. And it should be okay. You got to remember, every scratch is a problem. Every dent, every little ding is a problem. Why? Because this is my good church truck. I take this to church. So, we got to keep it holy. Holy. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get in this video. Appreciate you guys. And uh, let's get this hitch put on here. So what we have here is a Napa tow hitch. 5,000 pound. Class 3 trailer hitch. So we're going to get this thing put on. Aha! Both of these off and both of those off. And just take that cross put bolts in there. No, put, I put bolts back through there to hold okay. this because this is pretty key. Yeah. And then, um, but in the process of doing that, we need to grind where we're going to weld. Yeah. And then we can weld it up. No. What you'll do is uh, we'll take and we'll uh, grab a punch and a hammer and we'll drive those through once you get them ground flat. Okay. So when you get them ground flat, you should see, it should be all nice and shiny and silver. Mm -hmm. And you'll see just kind of a little hole. Kind of where it's... And just a nice. little line, yeah. And then when we get that point, we'll just take it. We'll smack it, it, it out. Yep. Cool, cool. Come all on. All right. Up. We'll and do that. we should be able to drop our bolts right back down. <laughs> Perfect. Let's do this. Cool. All right, so we ground this so these won't come out of the cross member. So we're gonna squeeze that down, tack in a weld here, and then we're gonna weld right here, and then put the trailer hitch on so that way it's secure. Is that just so it doesn't, there has less distance to travel the current? Yeah, you don't want it to go through your, uh, to go through like your electrical system. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. It's a good idea that to disconnect sense. your battery first, especially if you're on, if you're on a new vehicle. Okay. Should I do that? It's up to you. Do you think it matters? <laughs> you would? <laughs> no, <laughs> I've, I've built this on a lot of them without taking the battery off, but. The book says you're supposed to. Uh, yeah. The says do as the book says, not as we do, right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. You I'm wanna... good. I'm good. Okay. Grind some paint off it. Okay. And where I would grind it is around the 
around these around the sides here. Boom. Okay. And then right in here. So okay. maybe just take and grind out because that's going to set like this here. We want to be able to put a weld in here and then weld around each one of these tabs. Okay. And maybe even fill weld inside in of here, but we're not going to be able to get the paint off paint of out of there very easy unless you got a die grinder. Right. I've got one back at my place. But it'll happen here. Yeah. Learning the process of the masters. So let's go. All right, ground the top, the ground a little bit on the outside so we can weld that, and then a little bit on the face so we can, what'd you call that, puddle weld? Puddle weld it, yeah. Puddle weld it so it's nice and secure. Let's get it on there. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna tack these cross members. Well, I need to tack this up here first. <laughs> little hot? <Hey>. Little bit. <laughs> So it's flattering because uh, we didn't have the dry grinder to get the paint out of the hole. Oh. And so, that paint as I'm it. burning through it, it's throwing it back out. Yep. Gotcha. So, that makes sense. All right, Brady's gonna give it a whirl. Okay. All oh right. Boy. So, all right. How's it look? Because I couldn't see when you were doing it. Um, it looks like it needs to be filled in more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you're supposed to do that on the first pass, so uh, give it another pass. Okay. Okay, yeah, you're not going quite up high enough on your... Did you even get the top metal? I think so. Maybe not. Yeah. Here, see. hold this. Maybe I missed it. I think I got it on the beginning of it. Yeah. I think halfway through. It. I think I missed halfway yeah. through. All right, guys. So the hitch is on. It is welded. And I welded like half of it. Now, I'll show you my welds. But I'll tell you. <laughs> they are not pretty. <laughs> but that's what this beast is for, right? Is to not be pretty. But I'll show you this real quick. Please bear with. <laughs> I mean, they could be worse, I think, but they're pretty bad. So this one is probably the best one that I did. Um, but uh, yeah, I basically did this whole side and had to redo some of it and we didn't want to regrind or grind it out and redo it. It doesn't have to look that pretty. Obviously I totally messed up that thing right there. And so I just didn't do it because <laughs> it was too hard to reach. And then we had all of this other stuff in here. I think it's good. It's fine. Um, that's what Dwayne did. And it's nice and pretty <laughs> with unclean metal. That's really thin, right? Or, you know, frame metal. It's not that thick. So, um, yeah, I think overall it turned out okay. It's definitely going to hold and be strong. So that's all that really matters, um, on this thing. So that's, uh, that's the hitch. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting some, uh, coupons is what he called them, like welding coupons or whatever. You know, they're like two or three inches wide and a, like five or six inches long. Um, you know, and do like three eighths inch 
uh, steel, and I'm just going to start practicing welds on that. So hopefully by the end of summer, you know, I'll be getting halfway decent at it. Um, that is what I set out to do this year. That's like my goal to learn is how to weld because I think it would be really cool to do. And there's a lot of things to weld on this bad boy, like rock sliders, a bed rack. Um, you know, we're going to be doing a four link eventually. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that I need to be able to weld for. So I appreciate it, guys. Hopefully that video was helpful and informative uh, or maybe entertaining, maybe not necessarily informative, but entertaining. I learned a lot about welding and how to swirl and connect and all of those things. So that's pretty cool. Obviously, I'm not a professional at welding, so I'm not going to try to explain all that to you. I'm sure there's YouTube videos on there about that, but I appreciate it, guys. Like, share, subscribe. We now have an official uh, towing spot as well as a uh, trailer hitch, you know, to, to tow things um, and to get pulled out with. So, guys, appreciate it again, and we'll talk to you on the next one. We'll see you.